Hello, boys and girls. I'm a teddy bear. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're on day number two of sewing. And what we have done is pinned our bear together using about four pins. And we're making sure that they line up pretty good so that the ears all line up. This guy made a really, really nice one. Um, if it happens to have not lined up super good, like maybe on this foot right here, one is kind of square and one is a little bit more round, you can just kind of trim that just a teeny bit so that they match up really good. But this is an excellent one. He did really good. When you're ready, you need to go to find the foam of death. Yes, folks, the foam of death. This is what we put our needles in and out of. Do not lose the needles. Make sure that when you're not holding onto it, it goes back into the foam of death. So I've got my needle, and a needle, it has an eye way up at the top, a hole in it, and that is where the string goes. Make sure that the bottom is a little bit pokey. Sometimes weaving needles get put in the foam of death, um, and then they don't get so uh, sharp anymore, and then they can't work. So actually, I'm going to grab a sharper one for this guy. This one's a little teeny bit pokier. The eye is a little bit smaller, but I think it will still work for him. Next, you find string. This is our string. I'm using a little bit thicker string because we're brand new to this. You're going to grab two arm's lengths. One. We did it in the video. Look, one and two. And then I'm going to have a buddy cut it for me. To get this string onto this needle, my trick is as I squeeze it, Let's see if I can do this. I squeeze it right at the end of my fingers, and then I put the eye right here, and then as I let go, it goes right through the eye of the needle. And of course, I can't do it without looking at it, but it makes it really easy to let it puff through the needle, okay? Bring this needle to the middle of your string and match up. I hope you want blue string, because that's what I made you. But if not, you don't have to use it. So here is the ends of my string. Take the ends of it, and if you can do this, great. If not, I'll do it for you. Wrap it around your finger and then slide it off, and now this goes through the hole, and now I have like a little knot at the end. This will keep it from going through your bear, okay? So, now we're ready to sew. I've got my bear right here. Yeah, oh bear. There are two different stitches. There is the whip, and there is the straight stitch. So there's a whip stitch and a straight stitch. You want the whip or the straight? Whip stitch, this is yours? Mm. Okay, whip stitch. So the whip stitch, I go, I'm holding my bear in one position, um, and I'm going to go up through both of the pieces of fabric. Oh, sure, I got you a dull needle. Huh, I'll get you a better one here. So it goes up through the fabric. Can you see that? And then I pull it all the way. Pull, 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 pull. If it gets tangled on the bottom like it is, take a couple of seconds to untangle it, and then pull it all the way up and until it hits the knot. That one is done. Then I'm still holding my bear in the same spot. I go up through both of the pieces of fabric. Pull, 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 pull. You're only doing tiny, tiny little bites of um, fabric. So do you see how they're kind of spaced kind of tighter together? Like this. And if I pull this pin out, now I can pull the pin out. Now you can see that there's three stitches. So keep going from the bottom all the way up. Pull, 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 pull. The bottom up. Pull, 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 pull. So this is what a whip stitch looks like. And you can see it on the back side too. Okay. So the whip stitch is just going up, pull, up, pull. If you want to do a straight stitch, I call that a dolphin stitch. So that one is where you just go down, up, down, up, down, up. To do a straight stitch, let's see if I can show a little bit better here. Straight stitch, whoop, it's going to go down in, See how it's just on, the, well, this is a silly video. Where is it? Nah, there it is. It goes down in, and then I'm going to go back up. So wherever your string just was, now I'm going to go back up. Pull your string all the way through, back down. This is the straight stitch because it's in a row. Okay, then I go back up. So pretend like it's a dolphin jumping out of the water and then jumping back down in. So now the dolphin has to go back down in the water. So see the difference? So that's a straight stitch where it's just on the fabric. The whip stitch, pretend it whips around it, okay? So you're gonna go almost all the way around your bear. I started here, I'm gonna go all the way around. Just pick one stitch, either the um, whip stitch or the straight stitch, either one is great. Go almost all the way around until you have just a little opening right here where his leg is. I'm gonna have an opening right here where his leg is and then I'm gonna take stuffing and I'm gonna stuff the whole guy. I cannot stuff him yet though until I pull the pins out. So sew almost all the way around, pull the pins out, stuff your dude. I'm still gonna have string left over. So um, 
Then when I'm done, then I'll tie another knot and then I'll cut it off. If I run out of string before I get to the end, we tie a knot in it and then we get another arm's length or two of the string. Okay, does that make sense? So happy sewing. I hope you guys have fun.